This Thursday night football props edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is brought to you by Bet Rivers. Claim your risk free bet up to $500 over at sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash bet rivers. That's sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash bet rivers. We're also brought to you by Hall of Fame Bets, the sports betting research platform for parlays, player props, and game lines. Download the Hall of Fame Bets app or visit hrfbets.com. Use code SGPN to get 50% off your first month and start making smarter bets today. We're also brought to you by Factor Meals. Head to factormeals.com slash SGPN50 and use code SGPN50 to get 50% off. Plus, this Monday and Tuesday, everything is 20% off in the merch store with this promo code Cyber. Store.sportsgamblingpodcast.com, promo code Cyber. What's up, everybody? You're watching SGPN. Fuck the Cowboys. Let's go, baby. To the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean, second the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan. Real money Kramer. What's happening, Kramer? Dog. I just gotta know if the sea dragons are gonna live. <laughs> I gotta know. I gotta know. You know, uh, yeah, Ryan doesn't have a Seattle Seahawks uh jersey. So in, instead, wearing the Seattle Sea Dragons, and they were what? XFL team? A lovely uh XFL team coached by June Jones. Mm. Remember him? Yes, I do. Yeah. Shout out to you, Jude and Jones, friend of the program. Good dude. Right. And uh, yeah. What will he have we figured out what the spring league is gonna be called? It's like United it's Federation. The UFL. It's not either of them. That's <laughs> that seems uh pretty stupid, but you know. We're not here to discuss minor football. No, we are here to s- discuss major Thursday night football. Shout out to the chat. We got the Steffi Smalls show in the chat. We got Adrian Kennedy. In the chat, ready for the show. And remember, remember, guys, get those profile pictures. <laughs> we are. Oh, there's well, one. Adrian <laughs> Kennedy has a Milwaukee Brewers profile. All photo. right. Yeah. Just I, I'm. No new new rule, uh, Josh. No showing comments <laughs> with, that have no profile picture unless it's about pretzel crust. Yes, uh, pretzel crust gets to the front <laughs> of the line. We know how things are done. Uh, we got a good, uh, nice show here, of course. Our Cyber Monday uh, sale extended to Cyber Tuesday. Use the promo code Cyber, twenty percent off everything in the merch store. We we had an opportunity to use Cyber Knife. Oh yes, <laughs> son, <laughs> son of a. I don't. I, I as, as someone who has messed up spelling <laughs> knife a number of times, I I want to make sure our audience Cyber. Yeah. I feel like our audience can definitely get. I don't want to ask them to. How do you spell Cyber? Uh, C Y B E R. All the cool word, <laughs> cool, cool words have wise in them. Exactly. All right. Uh, before we get started, we got a special guest ca- joining us in just a second. Before we do that, of course, shout out to Bet Rivers. Uh, yes, Bet Rivers, great for some live betting. I mean, imagine if you were live betting that Monday night game, just hammering those alt under, alt unders. Uh, Chicago Bears win without scoring a touchdown. I saw someone tweeted at us, Ryan. Uh, <laughs> TJ Hawkinson first and last touchdown. That is a that is a true. Hashtag if I, I'm, I chime in for it. I yes. do feel like we again. I, I'm not aware of any other platforms pioneering this approach of wheeling the oh. first, last, and anytime touchdown. Uh, I just kind of like we're on the we're on the tip of the spear, as they say. Yes, we are on the tip of the spear, and uh, take that spear and use it to stab over uh, <laughs> at Bet Rivers. Get your uh, risk-free bet up to five hundred dollars, depending on your jurisdiction. But again, uh, yeah, sign up using our link, sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash Bet Rivers. Great, uh, Bet Rivers really the leader when it comes to uh, live marketplace. Have already gotten a bunch of good feedback from people. Who already use Bet Rivers or people who are uh, new to Bet Rivers. So sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash Bet Rivers. Problem gambling, call 1 800 Gambler. And of course, Little C's hot and ready. Maybe you're going to be getting down some Thursday night props. You know what pairs perfectly with some parlays is some pizza. And of course, the best pizza around is from Little Caesars because you got the pepperoni piled high, surrounded by that python of pretzel crust. 
that golden brown with those delightful little salt chunks. Love me a little Caesar's pepperoni pretzel crust pizza. Perfect pairing for a sports gambling podcast Python's uh, oh. show. If you missed the episode last uh, last night, the what was it? The college football episode. Yeah, we've officially announced we are the sports gambling podcast Python's hissing sound effect uh, will be added to the mm-hmm. soundboard. Stay tuned. But again, you me, C's, yeah. love them. You, me, and Colby, uh, a la dodgeball and <laughs> Ben Stiller's team. We're gonna dance around the office doing yes. our python. Not true. Pythons are big muscles or big dicks. Remember, yes. we, we established that. <laughs> uh, get delivery or our in-store pizza portal pickup. Grab some friends, enjoy a few slices during the game. Little Caesars pizza. Pizza. I do feel like uh, Little C is one of the few partners that would appreciate that collab. Mm, yes. Pi- the Pythons and pizza. They would love that. The peas, all the peas. ZD Mills saying, Y'all are the only show I watch on YouTube. Appreciate oh, wow. you. Uh, and Adrian Kennedy saying, Visa need to extend you guys' contracts. Mm. Love you on Fridays here in Vegas. Well, shout out to you, Adrian, and feel free. Come by, uh, get a beer after the show, or hang out and watch me play the NFL slot machine. The slot. How's the slot? Should we get some? Should we see <laughs> if they can bring some folding chairs for spectators? Oh, yes. I mean, you're joking, Ryan, but I've Am had I? a crowd up to five or six people cheering me on with some of these uh, bonuses that I hit. Slot God. Have you are uh, yeah third string tight end in high school? Have you achieved more success at the slot table? Oh, than- one hundred percent slot Jackie all the way. <laughs> Ryan, enough messing around. Oh, give me a Photoshop of Sean as a slot <laughs> jockey, please. But I don't know what it is. I don't know what you're riding, but oh, that's gonna be awesome. Uh, joining us on the line, you know him from the NBA Gambling Podcast, the NFL Gambling Podcast, and the WNBA Gambling Podcast does it all, Mister Terrell Furman. What's happening, Terrell? What's going on, fellas? Looks y'all oh, look no, good, no, everybody. Oh, there oh, he, oh, there what? is. What? What? Whoa. No, whoa, no, you're good. You're whoa, good. You're whoa, good. Whoa, you're good. Whoa. Everything's good. <laughs> you came you came in hot. Did yeah. came in hot, ready to go. Uh I mean, we got a lot of props to get to, but before we do, we gotta talk. We gotta talk. No, we don't. Uh, Tommy DeVito, baby. <laughs> Tommy Paisan. Tommy DeVito. Are you where are you at with uh, Tommy DeVito? Are you guys considering drafting Marvin Harrison and building around Tommy DeVito? I have not heard your Tommy DeVito take yet, uh, Terrell. Because I think that this is like the great value Lynn Sanity in New York, and it's really, really killing me. Like I'm so mad that I'm mad he won two games because I'm mad that people are kind of selling themselves on it. And this is that little New Yorker thing where they get this little itty bitty taste of success, and it's not real success; it's actually very poor relative success. And then we roll with it, and so. Uh, now everybody's buying Tommy DeVito merch like they were Lynn Sanity. Next thing you know, Tommy <laughs> DeVito's gonna be in. They really should name it the UXFSF, the UXFL. They really should yeah, go with that name, but he's probably gonna end up in the UFL probably by next season. I'll say this: uh, that's a great comparison in terms of captivating a, a, a fan base. Well, and, and especially the uh, you know, obviously there's a bunch of Asian Americans in New York city that were like, Oh, this is awesome. We're seeing uh, the Italian Americans are like, see, look, yeah, right see, there, this is right our there. guy, the Italian stallion himself, Tommy DeVito. A lot of po- a lot of people pointing out that he's got a little Sicilian in him. <laughs> they haven't been that, this happy since Rocky. Yes. It oh, was wow. uh, just, I mean, we're just, again, it just clear and open. Uh, Hate towards the Italian American oh, people. Yeah. Well, they're the only. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Ryan, they're the only ones that you can really uh, bust the chops. You know, like Colby wants to talk to the leader of college football. I want to talk to the leader of the woke army. <laughs> How is it you're letting this slide? You guys are just like the pawns in a chess game, just getting mowed down, and no one's. The Italians have often had to <laughs> chip on their shoulders. Sean. Well, that was always funny. The part of the Sopranos, how the uh, Tony and all the other guys hated how they were always stereotyped as mafioso guys. <laughs> Meanwhile, they were in the mafia. So they're sitting outside a meat shop. Like, yeah. what, what the fuck? Nice. Well, I mean, he, still, he still lives with his parents. How do I not I think know, he's that... a part of the mob? Like, what else are they doing all day? <laughs> like, we thought he was just there, just hanging out. No, he has work to do. I, as someone who went to school and then like actively tried to pursue going away from home, I did find people that went home to be, you know, like, all right, I'll, I'm not going to say anything out loud about it, but I'll just stow that bit of information about you away. <laughs> you play um, in the National Football League. <laughs> 
I mean, uh, who knows? Uh, I get it. He likes having his laundry done. He's probably you know, conven- there's a certain convenience factor to it. He's not making that much money. He was an undrafted for <laughs> although he he did get signed to some sort of three year contract when they activated him for the oh the, really it was like a standard rookie you've been activated five times off the practice squad or whatever deal. Um, but I, honestly, the all the film guys. I know, I know you bring up Lynn Sanity and kind of in the same way, like Lynn Sanity was kind of smoke and mirrors, but it was the system and it like, it actually was working. DeVito's making some fucking throws and yeah. he's showing that he's got onions and Dable, uh, who had not been complimenting him to this point basically said, uh, yeah, he put it out there with the throws. So I mean the, the couple deep shots to Jalen Hyatt, I thought were like legit good throws. Like those are NFL quality yep. throws. Do do I think he so, could be a franchise quarterback? Maybe not, but well, he could be like a long-term quote, starter backup. He saw the field really well and could explain what he saw really well. Something a veteran quarterback doesn't often do well. That's mm. what he said about Tommy DeVito, which uh, that to me felt like a subtle shot maybe. <laughs> he was talking well, about Josh Allen. <laughs> he did he was talking about Josh Allen earlier in that sentence, so maybe he was comparing the two. Careful, don't make fun of Josh Allen. Bill's mafia is is lurking in the shadows. Although my mentions have gotten a lot more quiet after the Eagles uh beat the crap out of him. Oh, uh, there wow. on Sunday. I, I will say uh, you used to be a Bills fan, Sean. Is no, that I, what, I you're out on them now forever. No, 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 no. Okay. I I have a soft spot for the city of Buffalo. Not I, anymore. I the way they've their, treated you. No, I love their passion, but also as a passionate fan myself, I love a good back and forth, especially when my team won. So come at me, let's go. Uh, and B- Bills fans aren't soft; they jump through tables. They can handle me uh, me busting their chops, even though they're co- the cockiest fan base at six and six I've ever seen. <laughs> I mean, ever like, come on! They act like they're they won the Super Bowl. I, oh, and I, I, they almost lost to the Giants. Let's not. Forget. Yeah. I mean, they yeah, should have lost. Right. The That's Giants. brutal. Let's That's not forget. <laughs> Tyrod had him on the ropes. All right, uh, let's talk a little Thursday night football props. Terrell, you are the guest. Yes. Uh, I will allow you to go first. What do you like here for Thursday night football? Right now, Bet Rivers I think has a Seattle Seahawks, a nine and a half point dog, nine point mm-hmm. dog here in Dallas. What do you like props wise? Kick us off. I'm gonna go ahead and get a Dallas positive prop out the way. Oh, Give me whoa, Tony whoa, Pollard. Whoa. Yep, Tony Pollard over 19 and a half receiving yards here. Uh, Seahawks giving up the six most receiving yards to running back position in the league, and they've given up this line in nine of the 12 games this season. Pilot's been over this his past two games, and he's gotten five and a half targets in both of those games. So five and six targets. They're starting to look for him in the passing game a little bit more. I think this is a good spot script that I have this going in of the Cowboys are going to need to try to move the ball down the field. They're going to struggle down the field passing game. I think this is a little bit of a letdown spot between blowing out, you know, thir- Thursday with the commanders and then going and having to play the Eagles the next week. I think this look is ahead. a really bad, yeah, really bad look ahead spot where the offense just doesn't look good. So I see a lot of check downs for Tony Pollard, Tony Pollard over 19 and a half receiving. Yeah. I mean, even uh, as in completely uh, partial uh, Cowboys haters, this is this is a, a tough sandwich spot for them because uh, Terrell no uh, Terrell mentioned it. They're probably looking ahead to the Eagles game, and now they have. Well, I don't. Well, I, well I don't think Seattle is the most talented team, and was kind of skeptical of the Geno return and and him writing back. I do think this is an angry, desperate uh, Seahawks team. Like they lose this game, they might be out of the playoff hunt. So mm-hmm. I know they're coming in here as big dogs, but uh, Pete Carroll. As an underdog, oh. that's when you want to look to him, uh, and 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 not playing a super physical team like they just never matched up well against the 49ers. You mentioned Tony Pollard over receiving yards. I came to that similar conclusion, but mm. I'm not allowed to give out positive Dallas Cowboys props. So Why I not? looked at yeah. uh, Wait, a negative a negative angle is Tony Pollard under rushing yards because I do think he could have a decent game, but maybe in the air and not on the ground. Tony Pollard, I'm seeing under 61 and a half rushing yards. He did go over this number last week against the Commanders, but before that, seven weeks in a row, 61 yards or less. So I I, I know they're trying to figure out something with Tony Pollard, but to Terrell's point, I think it's going to be in the passing game, uh, and I don't think it's going to be him pounding the rock. Like he just doesn't 
he's 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 lost that efficiency. Like everyone in the fantasy market just oh. projected. Oh. oh, imagine he's so efficient as a change of pace back. Imagine if you give him all the carries. It doesn't work like that. It's like they forgot what his own coach said about him. Yeah, <sighs> it, it, it's like as? it's frustrating because. Wow, we didn't expect you to run the ball on second and fifteen, and you do a run, and we didn't defend it. <laughs> oh wow, you got you look good during those plays, but when we know you're going run on first and ten, like of course he's going to be worse. I, I would, yeah, think. I like it. Yeah, no, he was a, he was he was good as a change of pace from Zeke's fat ass, uh, you know, just slamming into the line. So now you get like a a, a guy who is more nimble and and cutting around. I had to, I had to make fun of Zeke. Um. Then, he, he, yeah, yeah. Then, I, then, then he's he's gonna be better, but he's just not a workhorse back. And your point, Ryan, like the coaches told us that last year. I'm gonna I'm gonna read that quote. What it, did they call him a Ferrari or something? There was something in there. I think it's, yeah. So they're basically talking about his snap count. Quote: I think it's probably his max as far as total play count. Uh, because then the juice isn't the same and he's not as quick, not as fast. When he had that long run on third and one, as soon as he got to the sideline, he said, coach, I'm done. I'm done for the game. I'm done. I got no more. Uh, so, some guys are race cars. Some Throw guys in the are, towel coach. I ran 30 yards on third and one. Some guys are race cars. Some guys are high quality, expensive sedans. Those sedans can go forever and for a long distance at a high, a very high rate. Wait, where, so to be clear, Zeke's the sedan. Where, yeah, whereas, <laughs> where race cars go very fast and quick, and then they run out of gas. I've always felt that at a position, you've got to always have two guys that are quality backs that can help each other, bounce off each other, and it helps if their ru running styles are different. So he essentially said last year. We can't play. Thirty-one snaps was that was the number of snaps he had in the game they were talking about. Mm -hmm. So, uh, fantasy community, suck it. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Deke, are my turn. Yes, your turn, Ryan. What do you I got? I like the the shade thrown at the Cowboys. I'm focusing on positivity. All right, you like good trivia. I do. You like DK Metcalf. I do. Certainly, DK and P. Care will oh. probably comparing pecs this week as they are getting amped Flex up for the off. game. <laughs> How many games this year? So his total DK Metcalf, 56 and a half receiving yards. How many games this year has he gone under that total? Hmm. DK, so they played eleven games. I would say he's gone under four times. Four times, exactly right. Terrell? Oh, well, I was gonna I, I, oh, I'm not, I was gonna you, say you five. If I'm if I'm gonna be completely honest, I was gonna say five. So, so in in those game in, in three of those games he was held to uh, three or fewer catches, actually no sorry in all four of those games. So basically, if you believe he's going to be held down, bet against them. But in this, the seven games where he wasn't, and if you look specifically as, at his workload over the last couple of weeks, nine targets, nine targets, twelve targets. Baltimore took him away four targets, but then fourteen targets against the Browns. Mm. Kind of feel like it could be one of those games. I think mm -hmm. in this matchup, uh, the what do you do against these finesse uh, playmaking cornerbacks of the Dallas Cowboys? You get physical. DK Metcalf over fifty six and a half receiving yards. And by the way, the underdog the the underdog price is exactly the same. Mm. Uh, Terrell, what do you got? All right, now we get to the Cowboys hate here and little obscure. Give me Dak under his longest completion of 38 and a half yards. And I had to dig deep. I, I mean, scuba dive for this That's one scary. right here. Get the so mask out. <laughs> you, you got the Seahawks who have the seventh best deep ball completion DVOA. And then I went and I dug a little deeper looking into what they've done with this line. They've only given up this line in the first three games of this season. After that, twice. So you go, what, another eight games of the season, they've only given up this line swipes. They've actually done a really, really good job of limiting yards after the catch, limiting the deep ball down the field. And so Dak, he also gone under this line in seven of his 11 games this season. I, again, going back to my angle of I think this is a letdown spot where the offense just doesn't look good. The defense regresses a little bit. And so, yeah, Dak under his longest completion, 38 and a half. Uh. Well, <clears throat> 
again, well, a well-crafted fade to the Cowboys, Sean. Yes, that's what we're here for. Artisanal fades of the Cowboys. Is Dak on fire right now? Is he peaking? I mean, week thirteen peak for Dakota. I don't know. That Thanksgiving game. I swear to God, if if Ron Rivera and If they, and this and is Eric your Pianami. finest take. If they, your... if, no, but if they called like two QB snakes on fourth and one, this is this is your. It's a different story. I, mean, I, 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 it sounds stupid because you look at the final score and you're like, this wasn't close. What is he talking about? I'm telling you, the momentum swing of all those four. It might have been three fourth and ones where they just got destroyed uh, with these horrible play calls, and then turned the ball over, and then the, you know. The commander's defense is kind of soft to begin with, but you you take those momentum swings and it's just like so easy for them. I don't think you're gonna see that with Seattle. I don't think you're gonna see that with Pete Carroll. And I actually think uh I'm gonna go CD Lamb under six and a half catches Whoa. here. Cause Ooh. I, I now, Whoa. now now I know Woo. some <laughs> Woo. Seattle can do okay against the outside receivers, and I would just say this. If you watch that game, it did feel like everyone was getting theirs except CD Lamb. Like Brandon Cooks was getting his, um, you know, tight ends was getting involved. Uh, everyone was getting theirs except poor CD Lamb. Only four catches, fifty-three yards. Did get a touchdown week before, six for thirty-eight and a touchdown. I think he is a little bit out of sync. Eighteen targets the last two games, only ten receptions. There's something that's happened efficiency-wise. With CD Lamb and Dak these last two games. So yeah, give me under six and a half catches. A very creative shade throw there. That was good. No, no I, I like that. that. I mean, good. it's just six and a half is those are Adam Thielen numbers. I mean, that's what Adam <laughs> Thielen's uh catch prop was at last week. And I think if you're the Cowboys, part of the reason you were so successful offensively is because Dak was spreading the ball all over the place. I don't think they're gonna go away from that against Seattle's defense. And I think you're gonna have better luck attacking the middle of the field. Um, to to Terrell's point about throwing to uh, Tony Pollard, like I think those are the soft spots against Seattle. Now CD will get five, maybe six. I don't think he gets up to seven catches. That's a great prediction too. I like throwing in the exact prediction just yes. in case. No, uh, that's good. I, like oh, I it. nailed it. Five I'm, catches. Yeah, no, I, exactly. I'm I'm complimenting. So I never in a million years would I have thought with the third pick in the second round I was going to be able to get Dak Prescott to throw an interception. <laughs> it's, my, it's minus one. It's minus one ten. <laughs> and it's against the ball hawking defense. I I know that they're they're sk- they they are somewhat beatable at times, but uh, they've also made some plays. Uh, and I want to just get back to the the basic system. Of interception props when they're priced at minus one ten for a quarterback that has had propensity to throw bad interceptions in his career, you got to take it. Yes. It's an auto play. I mean, honestly, I, I didn't want to give out two uh, int props, but I mean, Geno's is minus one forty five. Dax is minus one ten. Does that is that really like the the Geno's is probably right. Dax is probably wrong. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Geno. I mean, Gino. Let's keep it real. Let's get the. Let's get something going here. A lot here. of the AI bots are taking Gino. I'm <laughs> suggesting taking Dak. <laughs> Better price for Dak for sure. And again, the look ahead spot. I, I think it's real. Terrell, what do you got? What's another uh, prop you like here? I'm fading Dallas's defense now. Give Ooh. me Gino over 226 and a half passing yards. Now, when you look at it, he's only been over this line six times this season. That's not good. But when you scuba dive and you look a little bit Ooh. through the looking glass there, you will see that Gino is 4 and 0 when he missed the prop the week before. Ooh. And oh, did he miss this prop on <laughs> Thursday night? Oh, <laughs> oh did he miss this prop on Thursday night? If you're not worried about a short week, you get your preparation time. I think that this is a really really good spot for Gino to get back right. And then I didn't get to talk about it yet, but I think these receivers, if this is a letdown spot, what Kramer said about DK, I think Lockett can have a pretty decent game as well. All of this really just adding to the fact that I think Gino is going to benefit from his receiving core and these passing yards. 226, I think he could finish around 235, 240. 
Oh, and there is a there is a matchup <laughs> I love for Gino Smash. that I'm going to be smashing with my next uh, pick. But before we get to that, let's talk about Prize Picks. That's right. Head over to uh, sportsgame or prizepickscom sgpn Use code SGPN for a first deposit match up to one hundred dollars. PrizePicks.com slash SGPN. Code SGPN. Get that hundred percent deposit match up to one hundred dollars. Of course. Prize Picks offers that sweet, sweet reboot policy, uh, so your entries stay in play even if one of your players gets injured. Uh, that is, I mean, there's nothing worse than having a sweet, sweet entry going. Uh, you know, you hit the uh, two out of three already, then the third guy gets knocked out in the first half. If that happens, uh, your player is rebooted. Prize Picks is the only daily fantasy sports platform with an injury insurance policy. And uh, Kramer, we were just talking about DK Metcalf. I, I was gonna say I'm already, I've kind of built something already. I'm, okay, I'm yeah, wor- get, working on something. A talk little about, bit talk here. some uh, higher lowers you like over on Prize Picks. Well, I know you gave out the yards for I, DK. I'm just listening to the show. Yes, and I heard. Uh, I think you said Pollard under rushing yards. Uh, lower, but yes. Yeah, sorry, less rushing yards. I think. Uh, I believe Terrell. Let, let's get Terrell back on the screen. I believe Terrell. Said something about Gino having a game Ooh, more okay. than 25 and a half passing yards. All right. And then I believe we also were discussing CD. Yeah. CD less, less six and a half or seven. Six and a half. So that's a that's a five X or do we want to add in DK, Meg? Yeah. I'll, I'll let <laughs> yeah. Terrell said Terrell. Yes. It's correlated. So correlated. That is, is true. a stack. All right. So let's throw in the the more oh, okay. on the receiving yards. So we got a ten to one prize fix. Uh, we got a. This is pretty awesome. I, I think I I think I I somehow deleted one. Hold on. Oh, I yep. got. Yep. I got it. So a hundred dollar entry would okay. win you one thousand dollars. Get this in now. Course, <laughs> yeah, and of course, <laughs> you get that hundred percent deposit match. If you're gonna get do the deposit match, and why wouldn't you? Prizepicks.com slash SGPN promo code SGPN. Why not? Why not? You know, live a little uh, with uh, what you use the deposit match on. Prizepicks daily fantasy sports made easy. This to me is a great matchup. You know, it, as good as the Dallas secondary has been, Ryan, they they have one weakness. Do you know what that weakness is? Only one. <laughs> uh, what a compliment! That that's the, the right. nicest thing no, you said about uh, the you're Cowboys. You're right. You're right. That almost sounded like a compliment. <laughs> What is the? There's a lot of stuff that uh, the the Dallas defense is bad at. What is their worst thing? Uh, middle of field. Yeah, I was gonna say deep middle. That was gonna be my hunch. Stopping tight ends from Ooh. getting touchdowns. I mean, as as a guy who likes backup tight ends and tight ends in general, as a guy who hates the Dallas Cowboys, this is a dream scenario because <laughs> the Cowboys have allowed a league leading six touchdowns to the tight end. Compared to receivers, they've only allowed seven touchdowns to receivers, six to the tight ends. Uh, and get this: Will Disley isn't practicing right now. He is questionable. If he's not practicing on a Monday, or sorry, wait, this is Tuesday. Yes. Usually not a good sign for your availability on Thursday. So I, I'm going to say he's probably out. Now that just leaves Noah Fant and Colby Parkinson most likely getting the majority of the looks. And Colby Parkinson is way closer to a number one than Noah Fant is. Uh, like it, it's way closer to even. Colby uh, Parkinson's 14 catches, Noah Fant only 19. Even with Will Disley playing last week, he was he still got a catch. He's still getting snap share. Colby Parkinson anytime touchdown, 10 to one over at yep. podcast.com slash Bet Rivers. Love it. Love the matchup. Love the situation. He's one of the uh, guys who has flowing hair coming out of the back of his helmet. Easy to identify, even if you're having a couple cocktails. The, the dread effect. Well, they they have a couple guys with hair coming out of their helmet, though. You got to be careful. Yes, it's a little bit of that scenario where, like, which guy is that? It's uh, like Madison and Dalvin Cook. You like, oh, I can't. T- what, I don't know which one. You both have the hair coming. <laughs> yes. Out. Uh, shout out to Steffi Small saying uh, she's taking both uh, guys to get an interception. Maybe even parlay those. She also likes uh, JSN longest reception over seventeen and a half. Yeah, I I like that too because he does seem like he's good he's for one one uh, deep shot a game for sure. He just seems like he's emerging as their guy. Yeah, for sure. All right, so those were my three. Kramer, did you give out your third? I have not. Okay, what do you got? Uh, would you like a kicking prop? 
Love a good kicking prop. <laughs> Brandon Aubrey. Yeah, we kicker go. for your Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> hmm. How that is a disgusting act. Under two and a half point after touchdowns. Plus one twenty five. It's six and five on the year to that number. He's he's been hot of late. They, they they they're they're obviously coming off some games where they've they've uh, boat raced some teams. Uh, he's kicked crazy amount, sixteen extra points over the the last three games. But previous to that, a lot of twos, a lot of ones. So uh, I'm go I'm going to fade job here. I also again I think we're so gonna you're fading a kicker. I'm fading a kicker on the it. Cowboys. <laughs> Again, I'm. I wanted to come at it from a slightly more creative angle. Yes. I also, I, I also uh, would, I would probably not look into the uh, the field goal prop. Just throwing that out there. I know sometimes people hmm. plus one twenty five for this extra point prop. That's that's a mispriced opportunity. Let's go. Yes, sir. And uh, and and I legitimately got asked for uh, more kicking. Props. So Sean, <laughs> feel free to start. Not bringing so him back. I'm scared. The fans got really mad at me. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to deal with the the hate that I received for my run of kicking props. I was hitting. I I wasn't like they were particularly bad. I mean, I think I was like you know at the time maybe three for three and two and my kicking props. Like it wasn't like I was getting my ass kicked. Uh, Terrell, you gave out all three of yours, correct? Yes, I did. All right, let's uh, let's kick over to first touchdown. We also have uh, our DGens only parlays to close it out. But, but no ladder from you. Uh, no, I also have a ladder. But have a ladder. The, the, okay, because the ladder prices aren't out yet for the stuff I want to do. Well, you can you can I'll, talk I'll about you, theoretical ladder. Yeah, I'll walk you through a hypothetical ladder. I think I think ladder prices are always going to vary county to county. Yeah. So you know, it's more about the the framework. You're helping someone build something. Yeah. All right, I appreciate that. Uh, all right. Let's talk first touchdown. Terrell, you have the honors. What do you like? What do you What do you see in the prices at? All right, first touchdown. I mean, you stole my handicap. You mm. look at this Cowboys defense giving up league leading to tight ends in touchdowns. Also, look at this tight end room. No offense, zero touchdowns on the season. Kobe Parkinson. Zero touchdowns on the season. <laughs> Will Disley, zero touchdowns on the season. Oh, if if they were due was a tight end room, yes. it would be the Hawks. If they were due was a tight end room, it'd be the Seahawks. I'm all over it. And so I, I took Noah Fant at 30 to 1. I thought that that was a decent price. But Cody yes. Parkinson, Parkinson, that, that was the moneymaker there. 55 to 1. Woo! Woo. So that 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 solidified me on the Seahawks side of ball. As much as I hate to admit it, Gino will absolutely screw me over when I need him most. So give me the Cowboys <laughs> defense at 17 1. Oh, no. And then oh. I had fun with the last one, and I just took Kevontae Turpin. Thought if uh, when he gets on the field, they target him, they give him opportunities. He has red zone targets over the course of the season. So Kevontae Turpin, 25 to 1. But uh, I mean, we all know the Seahawks tight ends are cashing us this week. Yes. Yes. Uh, I'm with you on the on the tight end stuff. Uh, you said you got Noah fan at 30 to one. Yes. Okay. Lo love that. Love that butt stuff. <laughs> so I'm, I'm with you. Colby Parkinson, 55 to one, no fan 30 to one. I also do think this is kind of crazy. Kenneth Walker is, is definitely still out, right? Kramer. Yes. Okay. The Zach Charbonnet at uh, 10 to one, the starting running back. Uh, he's not been ruled out. I don't believe officially, but okay. mm -hmm. I don't, Think he's supposed to play. So for me, I I'm co-signing uh, Terrell's plays here. Colby at, at 55 to one, no fan at 30 to one, but Zach Charbonnet at 10 to one for the starting running back and the guy, I, I mean, maybe they give it off to DJ Dallas. Maybe that's an interesting angle, but uh, as far as like chalk, if it's 10 to one, I, I don't, I don't hate that at all. So yeah, give me Charbonnet 10 to one. What do you got Kramer? That's probably a good angle. Um, I, I I was I was getting into some Charbonnet Cowboys potential draft time scuffle that maybe I the the narrative would be that Charbonnet has a little bit of a chip on his shoulder and and much like you like my ladder framework is around that not available yet but I think something happened during the pre-draft process between Charbonnet and the Dallas Cowboys, like something oh, along okay. the lines, like the Cowboys maybe Ooh. suggested they were going to pick him and didn't, or 
maybe lied to him. So, something misleading was said. It seems like again, all rumors, nothing. I couldn't verify any of this. <laughs> uh, Doesn't stop us from reporting it. Doesn't For, matter. My, my first touchdown uh, system play. I would get. I'm I, at this point. I'm not even going to mess around with it because you look at these cowboy prices, Sean. You got to play the defense. Ooh. So I'm I'm coming in a little bit spicy. I'm going uh, Rain Dakota, sixteen to one. Cowboys defense special team seventeen to one, which gives me a piece of Turpin. Tur- mm. Most in 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 some of the scenarios, uh, Terrell. So I do like that. Yeah. I'm also going Seahawks defense forty to one. It is Rain Dakota Prescott. We're yes. talking about. And this is a Pete Carroll defense that I think is going to play a little bit aggressively. And uh, give me Geno Smith. He's forty-five to one, Sean. Really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Like, wow. wow. I didn't even look at that, but forty-five. It's a good wow. game for Geno. Hey, Geno got a, got the big feather to write back for this game. Yeah, get the quill out. <laughs> He's going. <laughs> so yeah, that's my uh, four-player card. No, oh, I love it. Yeah, I know. I thought you might. No, no. I mean, anytime you can get a guy like Geno Smith who has. I mean, he has rushed for touchdowns in the past at forty-five to one. The the pricing's crazy, and especially prime time game, gotta have it game. Uh, yeah, all over that. Like I'm also uh, all over these factor meals. These things are delicious, nutritious. Get it delivered right to your door. I am not, admittedly, a great cook at all. Uh, and you know, my fortunately, my wife pretty good cook. And she does most of the cooking, but sometimes I'm on my own. And that's why it's so great having these factor meals for a guy like me who does not know how to cook, doesn't want to spend time preparing meals. I'm too busy handicapping ladders, trying to get kitties out of the tree. Uh, Factors, uh, fresh, never frozen meals are ready in just two minutes. And they're legit good. I mean, youtube.com slash sports game on podcasts. You know, normally when you when you see like food uh, on TV or whatever, you're like, no way, it's actually looks like that. It does when it shows up. It looks like that because you don't really have to do anything. You again, it's ready in just two minutes. Very easy. I uh, you could, as a guy who doesn't cook, you cannot mess this up even if you try. And uh, November or sorry, <laughs> Factor this November, get Factor and enjoy eating well without the hassle. Simply choose your meals and enjoy fresh, flavor packed meals delivered right to your door, ready in just two minutes. No prep, no mess. Head to factormeals.com slash SGPN50 and use code SGPN50 to get 50% off. That's code SGPN50 at factormeals.com slash SGPN50 to get 50% off. And of course, we're also brought to you by Hall of Fame Bets. Love the parlay optimizer. These things are great. Uh, we, we just did a whole episode on props. You know, I went to HOFBets.com. Use my login. Shout out to Hall of Fame Bets and uh, the app as well. Very easy to use. All the like deep diving, the deep data button is really fun. It's it's just like you know we ask these questions all the time. How many times do you think DK Metcalf has gone over sixty two and a half receiving yards? It's great to just enter that in and not have to manually go through and read each game line. They make it super easy, super simple, and you get fifty percent off your first month. Try it out. I know you're going to like it. Start researching, start winning with Hall of Fame bets. Ryan, time for some ladder chatter. Dink, 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 dink. <laughs> oh, we're Terrell. Oh, there he is. Lost uh, Terrell for a second. Oh, he's, he's oh I, was, I was going to get the ladder. That was it. I was just ran to go get it real quick. <laughs> I have two concepts for, okay. you, for you. I want I I realize that I, I too often am only speaking to part of the audience. When I pick a team for my ladder, so I'm giving mm. out a ladder for both teams. And oh, so I'm okay. not giving out a shoot; it's a true ladder. What uh, do you got? Uh, the Charbonnet framework. If there, if this is true, and there is a chip on his shoulder, I do like the idea that they punch him and they punch in the mouth, ma- the Cowboys in the mouth with Zach Charbonnet. If you haven't watched him play, I mean, whether it's Michigan or UCLA, like dude's a physical runner. He's gonna be better than you think in the passing game, and I yeah, excited to see what it looks like. I, I know we just saw him on Thanksgiving get shut down uh, by the Niners too, so a little bit of a bounce back opportunity. That price isn't out. The price that is out, I'm gonna do something really disgusting. I'll get out ahead of it, but <laughs> this Seahawks team will let the quarterback scramble. Oh no! Right? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Right, people are listening to the show. In some that ways, is I think a disgusting act. I don't think I've ever seen a fumble ladder, but just, I, oh, but mm. I think he's gonna. I think Dak's gonna have a lot of carries in this game. 
13 yards is minus 110. 23 plus yards is plus 185. 33 plus yards is 480. 43 yard plus yards is plus 1250, Sean. And if he runs for 53 plus yards, it's 2750. Hmm. I wow. Pete Carroll will again. Pete Carroll will let you scramble a little bit if what you said is true about C.D. Lamb and and Tony Pollard, and they're shutting down these weapons. I do think there's going to be opportunity, some scramble lanes. So I'm I'm taking rain. I'm saying he he mobilizes that beautiful full body tattoo that he got sedated for, <laughs> and we're gonna Sean if we cash a twenty seven fifty prop on a Dallas Cowboy. Well, what we happens? Uh, Ryan, uh, you're not doing it. Uh, uh, I mean, a year ago you weren't a slot player. Yeah, that's true. If if I if the I can slot, change I and you slot. can change, but the we slot, can all change. The slot machine is sweet. Eagles highlights, Boston <laughs> Scott. <laughs> Can't wait till I get some more bonuses. Uh, over the end of the, people, people must think uh, they're paying me to advertise for the slot machine. I swear to God, Wait, you're not, you're not slot passion. Uh, Bobo, I see Beetlejuice in the chat. Bobo, anytime touchdown. Oh, oh man, oh. I love, I love Bobo. We're back on that um, I was considering going back to the Bobo. Well, Sean loves Bobo. I do. Uh, he's just, he's just a fun undrafted free agent. Like, how can you not like that guy? I do, I do think you it's a decent, oh, I, it's a decent matchup for him. But I I can't get away from the tight end stuff now. The reception props aren't out, but the you know if you can get a Colby Parkinson reception ladder, I mean the top of the ladder might be like three or four catches. Look at that. Also Noah Fant. We'll see once the receptions. But for now, I can't leave you without a ladder. Let's go to the Noah Fant touchdown ladder, which is available. Ooh, really, first touchdown plus seven fifty. Guess what two touchdowns is Ryan. Now this is where you guess something. Twenty-two low. to one. No, Kyer. <laughs> Twenty-eight to one. No, higher. <laughs> Sixty-nine to one. Oh, that would be nice, but no, one thirty to one. Oh. Noah Fant two wow. touchdown. Really? I mean, people thought I was crazy giving out Tyler Higby. That was thirty to one. Wow. Noah Fant two touchdowns, life-changing amount of money. We're putting up the bad signal when we uh, end this show, right? Come on, okay. let's go. Okay. I mean, uh, P dids in the YouTube chat saying you guys are awesome. Well, you're awesome. P dids. Thank you. <laughs> uh, and Jaddy may saying made it to a live show. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And uh, uh, Beetlejuice pointing out Bobo UCLA. Yeah. I have a soft spot for some UCLA guys. Do you? It. Uh, yeah. I know. I like, I like UCLA. I mean, there's so much like better UCLA. than USC. They only like what? UCLA when you leave the school. Nobody goes to the games <laughs> to see the players while they're there. But when you leave, True. oh, hey, we like that guy. It's a nice picnic. It's a Saturday picnic eight times a year that the alumni yeah. like to enjoy. I like Carson Steele. Under the show. beautiful chair, the uh, beautiful trees there on the golf course in Pasadena. Need Bill Walton to describe it for us. Terrell, how say you? Do you have a ladder uh, to contribute to the ladder chatter? I do. Hmm, what do we got? Past two times he's played the Cowboys. He's had a pretty good game. We talk about Gino being able to have a good game. And I kind of did spread out my ladder and my DJ parlay between two guys. So Tyler Lockett, he can have a day. You look at his last two games against hmm. the Cowboys, four for six, 77 yards and a touchdown. His last game against the Cowboys, nine for 13, 100 yards, three touchdowns. Oh, my God. I mean, you – and you look at his game log this season, he hasn't had those big down the field throws yet. Like those, you know, 40 yard catches, 50 yard catches that we know that Gino can get to him and that he can make himself. I think this is the game in the ultimate letdown spot that Tyler Lockett, DK, all those guys can have a really good day. So yeah, give me a Tyler Lockett ladder. I have his a hundred, you can get up to a hundred plus at What's that? Four seventy-five. All right. Plus four seventy-five for a hundred. Is that a hundred plus? No, I yeah, lied. A hundred plus. A hundred plus is plus six fifty. Ninety plus is plus four fifty. Eighty is thirty. Uh, plus three ten, and then seventy is plus two hundred five. All right. Yeah, I mean, uh, I I was considering him. JSN's always interesting as well. But yeah, Lockett, crafty veteran. That was interesting. I didn't look up the splits. Uh, his history. That's. That's a good sign that he has played well against the Cowboys previously. Kramer, 
Time for uh Well, I, I did want to I oh, sure, you There's got more one ladder more chatter. little uh, shout out to the, some far away places. <laughs> the interception ladders Ooh. have now Ooh. started readily being available at 1, 2 and 3. Okay. Dak one, my, uh, we already discussed it. Two plus four fifty three, uh, fifteen to one. <laughs> oh my God! Gino plus three hundred for two and plus twelve hundred for three. <laughs> All right, uh, my Dijens only. Hashtag Dijens only. It's a very simple formula. You already like no fan to get two touchdowns. Hey, if no fans catching two touchdowns, the Seattle Seahawks are winning the that game. Makes sense to me. Uh, no fan two touchdowns. Yep. Seattle money line two eight four six nine. Math comes out perfectly. Two hundred eighty five to one. Uh, what are we doing here? All I right. need one guy to catch two passes. One team to win. So I have to make simple my formula. Hold on. Simple systems, Ryan. That's what we're doing. While you're while you're trying to extend your parlay, increase the size. I'll kick it over to Terrell here. Terrell, do you got a DJ's only parlay for the good folks? I do. I went ladder for Tyler Lockett. I'm going to go DJ for DK Metcalf. DK Metcalf, 100 yards, two touchdowns, and the Seahawks win the game. I mean, what do you think that pays? Mm. Oh 25 God. to 1. Oh, nice guess. <laughs> 130 to 1. Wow. Yeah, I mean, one third anything anything over a hundred to one, my you know, I'm immediately intrigued. Uh, yep. I mean, because especially if you like the the look ahead spot is real for this uh, Cowboys team, they could be in trouble. It you just takes what? one DB to have a bad day. One DB has a bad day, and this opens up. Yeah. All right. Love it, I, Kramer. I, you know what? I'm just gonna reset back to what I, my original idea. <laughs> <laughs> it, well, it was it was more fun. I, I I got I got cowardly. I was like, that's not realistic, and then I realized it is realistic. All right, so I I really like the Dak Prescott scramble a lot angle, and part of the reason I like it. Boo. Well, part of the reason I like it is he's going to be making oh, okay. some mistakes with oh, his he's arms. Go, okay, all right. all right, I'll take that. So I am going to get really exotic. And just give you the top of two ladders. Dak throws three interceptions. Dak rushes for fifty-three or more yards. Those two things happen. Four hundred thirty-eight to one. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! So one more time, in case people miss. Dak to throw three touchdown or three interceptions. Yes. Which we all love that. Yeah. And yeah. Dak to scramble for fifty-three or more yards. Two things. Mm -hmm. Four hundred thirty-eight to one. <laughs> Wow, that's well, crazy. Now, if you if you believe in the correlation, I think you think Seattle wins. So if you want to add to that to the top, Sean, you can juice it up to uh 122,900. So 12 <laughs> 1229 to so 1. So a $2 bet you're getting a quarter million? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's uh, it's tw it's 1229. Oh, to okay, one. sorry. A $2 bet will get you 2500, right? Oh, okay. Away. That's not bad. Yeah. That's good right. ROI. Good return is that, on it. I mean, that seems pretty real. Dak runs for 53 yards because he's running for his life. He throws three interceptions. And the Seattle wins the game. Yeah. I, yep. I see no lies here. I th that's basically one event. Three time, Three events. I yeah. need three events. Maybe four. <laughs> it's it's a lock. It's clearly a lot. Yeah. yeah right. I mean, it's lock lot. it up. So we we just made a couple people uh, millions of dollars here with our DJs only See, parlay. What, how, much, how much do can I what's the max I can get down on this? No. I don't know. Eight dollars <laughs> and thirteen cents. Let's go. Max it out. That, eight dollars and thirteen cents will pay ten K. Okay. So. Oh my god. That feels like a worth I mean, it's what am I gonna get ROI. for eight dollars? Like a couple Baja blasts from Taco yeah. Bell. No, nah, I mean, yeah, we might be able to get a you got a Taco Bell? You no, might be no, able to get a uh, pepperoni pretzel crust pizza, depending on uh, your your zip code. But yeah, eight dollars doesn't really go that far. Terrell, appreciate you calling in as always. Where can people check you out? You guys know where you can find me. The NBA Gambling Podcast. Hey, we're rolling. We yeah. haven't got invited to the big show oh. to get some picks yet, but at some point that's going to happen, I'm sure. And so I, I can't wait to see y'all get here. Come roll with us and check it. Check us out over there because we're rolling. Let's our, get some hoops. our NBA pre uh, season preview episode is scheduled <laughs> for sometime 
don't know. We'll get to it sometime between Christmas and March Madness. Maybe yeah. after March Madness, actually. I think that'll be for April 1st. One week maybe. before the playoffs. Yeah, we'll basically. Do our, uh, we'll, NBA yeah. preview. <laughs> Sounds about right. I, I do. I will say, I do have, and I'm going to pull it up real quick since we got Terrell. I appreciate you reminding me. But uh, before the season, or no, what what caused one of you one of you NBA heads caused me to to take it take some action on the Atlanta Hawks. Oh, how am off. I feeling about that? Move how am off. I feeling about that right now? <laughs> yeah, different. Win total. Forty-two and a half wins. Yeah, they're uh, Hawks. They're all right. Yeah, they know. They all right. You, you and okay. that concludes our NBA talk for the month of November. <laughs> We got it out of the way. Hey, remember, last day is today, aka Tuesday. Cyber sale, uh, twenty percent off everything at the merch store. Promo code Cyber. Make sure you check that out. And uh, if you watch the Veasan show, nine o'clock Pacific every Friday over yes. on Veasan.com, or if you have YouTube TV and you have NFL Sunday Ticket, which you most certainly probably do if you're listening to the show. Uh, you probably already have Veasan, um, so just Sean. type in sports gambling podcast. Well, yes. that too. But by the way, I found a very easy way for for even young for young people to watch it. Mm. The Veasan app. Oh, you can okay. watch the the shows inside the the Veasan app uh, for free. So a lot of great ways to watch that show. We're bringing back SGPN Idol. So if you want to be featured on Veasan, go to our uh, X handle, aka Twitter at Gambling Podcast. Respond to the tweet. With a video of you picking a game, we'll break it down. Yeah, uh, no we'll production you, value needed. No, just you talking into your phone. But it's like a it's like a job. If you want to add some production value. No, that certainly helps with the judges. Thank you for participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast. For the Sports Gambling Podcast, I'm Sean Stack of the Money Green. He's Ryan. Mm, I don't like that Terrell's not in on Tommy DeVito. <laughs> Kramer, let it ride.